Dave, thanks for taking my boards, you're a legend. You're right, mate. <laughs> we know South Africans can't carry much. How's it, Dave? How are you doing, man? It's so cool to see you again. Tell me something. What made you start a stand-up paddle company in Portugal? Well, we came down here to Portugal about five years ago and we quickly realized that it was just an absolute amazing playground for anything outdoors. And and then we, we, we saw a huge gap in the market for paddleboarding. I mean, you only have to look behind us here, just how beautiful it is. And everything else at the time was just dedicated, like paddleboarding was just a tag on for, for surf companies or stuff like that. So was n nothing here was dedicated to paddleboarding. So we just decided to just purely focus only on paddleboarding. And you've got a, an amazing sort of unique selling point, your early morning tours. Tell me about those, bro. Yeah, the Sunrise Tours we launched from here at Don Ana Beach in Lagos and we go around the coastline here. When we first started, there was a lot of people that said, it's never going to happen, you're never going to get people to come along, but we stuck to our guns and we said, listen, it is the ultimate time to go paddleboarding. The water is fantastically clear most of the time and, and we have the whole place to ourselves. There's nobody else here, so it's fantastic. Cool, man, let's get on the water. Fantastic, let's go. Wait, hang on, who's Dave and where the hell are we? Well, let's just go look back a little bit. So my idea was to try and do a film because a lot of you are asking about real estate so i thought well hang on let me just go and try and picture, paint you guys a picture of what it's really like to live in one of these apartments that are for sale so we found um chris and sandy who i'm working i'm working with quite well um really well actually <laughs> they're doing really well um and they have a whole bunch of apartments to sell in this block called Santa Maria. And they're brand new builds, luxury development. It looks really amazing. So I thought, why not go to Lagos and live a day in the life as if we owned this half a million euro apartment? How about that? So we decided regular day in Lagos could only start with paddle boarding, of course. And my mate Dave from nowhere too far dot com is a legend and he set this all up for us and he put all the boards out stuff because we didn't have much time and he laid them all out for us we just arrived jumped on the boards took a few films and then shot off and he had to clean all the mess up so <laughs> thanks dave really appreciate it he does these amazing things called like you know, like his sunrise sessions the 5 a.m club and uh i don't, th I don't know if it's exactly 5 a.m but uh, just check his instagram or his website to find out exactly when he starts but it seriously is an opportunity not to be missed. You'll be tired and you you know it's weird waking up that early, but well worth it. Well worth it. Anyway. So let's carry on with our day because we're gonna cruise over to the um to the apartment, check it out, just snack a little bit and just have fun in the apartment. And then we'll go down and meet some uh, fellow YouTubers actually who have a coffee shop in Lagos. <laughs> There's no place like it. 
I mean, how would you imagine your very own home, deep within this natural paradise where the sun shines almost every day? Would your life revolve around your home? Or would your life be embedded in the fantastic landscape that unfolds around you? With every meter that you travel from your future home's door, will their experiences enrich you with new, exciting treasures? Will your memories fill with thrilling new knowledge of a different way of life? Every person has a different definition of home. Here in the heart of Lagos, Santa Maria offers clean, functional and luxurious convenience, where you can lock up and travel locally or on a voyage of discovery around Europe. Just because you live in a modern place doesn't mean that you can't fully experience the ancient charm of Portugal. You're just doing it from a warm, hassle-free base. We were paddling down here in Praia Dona Ana, and then what we're going to do is drive over to the Santa Maria. Okay, so it's just a quick hop, skip, and a jump, and it's not far away at all from the beach. So you could literally walk to the beach, although we drove because we had lots of kit. Um, and then Santa Maria is, as you can see where it's demarcated, it's just above the castle. So after we've been messing around here in this beautiful apartment, we just hopped down to the coffee studio on our bikes and went right into the center of town. And uh, there's a coffee studio right there. So this can, you can see the location of Santa Maria. And it's about, about an hour's drive from the airport. So if you're a pilot, eh, it doesn't make for a good transit. But um, most people who want to come to Lagos generally want to stay there because it's a beautiful place. If you've watched my channel before, you've met Chris. And meet Fiona. She's a ton of fun. Actually, they both are. Excuse me, Jamie, I run through here. Ah. Grab go, a go, go, go. Grab a pistol. Go, 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 go. Grab it. And then throw it over the edge. Throw it over. Then, really, you'd have to leave like a cut. So then, it goes up like this. And then the landing <laughs> is in the water. Like that. It's negotiating. Yeah. It's just not on. It's fucking. Come, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go, outside. Let's go, 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 go. Do you want with, with anything? No, no, no. Just go. I'm just following you. Just go. Just go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go sit on the left hand side over there. Over here? Yeah. I mean, isn't this the best chill out spot ever? Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is nice chilly. It's, it's a bit chilly here though, eh? It I wouldn't is. buy this place, would you? It's a little bit chilly, but I think in the morning we'd have the morning sun and that would make a lot of difference. We're a bit late. You're so optimistic. <laughs> oh, true. The sunrise over there would be pretty special. Yeah. I think it was. No, but this place is crap. <laughs> to be honest, this place isn't crap at all. Look at that beautiful lounge on the right hand side, dining room on the left, opening up into a wonderful open plan kitchen with all the modern amenities. And then off to our right is the third bedroom, which can act as a study or a, an office. And then two more bedrooms, the ensuite bathrooms. All three of them have, have ensuite bathrooms. So, I mean, imagine waking up here. You just have to. Walk up to the window, look out, and you can actually even see the surf from, from your balcony. Just whip out a binoculars and you can see exactly what's going on. Plan where to have your coffee. Just go and look and explore Lagos. You know, there's so many things you can do. Just such an, Or you could just sit and chill and watch Netflix if it's a rainy day, which doesn't happen often around here. Chris, what are you saying? Where's the sunrise? Um, out of your Dalia. Yes, apart from right that. behind you. Beautiful Good. sunrise over the Monchique Hills. I would say sunrise yeah, is sunrise probably is definitely, definitely over there. <laughs> yeah, right over there. I think Chris. You might be right. You do. You, I know you're a pilot <laughs> and everything, but <laughs> you're not very good on your on your compass place. stuff, huh? I'm trying to sell the place. What my commission? <laughs> we don't. Sell we don't sell places. Incorrect information. <laughs> Okay, so the sunrise sunset. would be amazing. Sunrise sunset would be awesome. It's going to be 
unfortunately yeah. right there but you can't usually get sunrise and sunset in an apartment unless you've got a penthouse suite owning all four floors absolutely and the thing is you've got lots of shade which you need in summer because it gets hot so that was fun nice place to live isn't it beautiful absolutely beautiful place cracking there. views not bad eh nice view across the bay and just so well done out this apartment but so Let's get on our bikes and head down and grab some coffee. Yeah. Let's do that. So there actually are a couple of guys down there in, down in, in Lagos who, who are YouTubers and um, they've just started a coffee shop. So I'm going to go and check them out. There you go, man. <laughs> Looking forward to some coffee. Yeah, let's go. So Brendan, huh? Yeah. How's it, Brendan? Great to meet good. you. Um, so when you were a kid, you had a coffee shop. Yeah. So I was a kid, and my mom owned a coffee shop when we were like I was 13. So my first ever job at 13 was making coffee and cleaning tables and stuff like that. So it's been a return to learning how to do that, which has been fun. Awesome. So what made you settle down in Portugal? Because you you guys travel quite a lot, don't you? Yeah. So I've been a travel photographer for 11 years. Jody's been a travel blogger for five years. And we came to Portugal a bunch of times through our travels and just loved it. And got to Lagos and just the vibe here is just so good. And it's kind of like inspiring. It's people from all over the world, you know, different entrepreneurs. And everybody's trying to create their own little niche in this in this town. And yeah, it's just a good vibe, good place to live. I mean. Blue skies most time and yeah, yeah it's lots not of good bad. people around. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we've got change. It just might come in small bit. Thank you very much. No worries. I just made my lip bleed, which is no, not gonna be good. Cheers. I'll come right back with a change. I'll okay, no problem. I'll hear the end of that story, I promise. Like this, can you stood up for Oh okay. Interesting. Yeah, that would. That looks great. The only roaster in the Algarve. Now there's another one. So this guy's out of Albufeira. Yeah. He's got a coffee shop in Albufeira, right? Yep. Yeah. Roast right in the right in the front of the coffee shop. This is a Peru blend. Actually, it's not a Peru blend. It's a single origin from Peru, from Cajamarca. Nice. Yeah. The Bunny Barista. The Bunny Barista. Hey, hey buddy. buddy. <laughs> he looks That's like so a wizard, cute. doesn't he? He does. <laughs> Cheers, Brendan. Thanks for the coffee. It was awesome. So Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Fiona, thank you so much. Oh, it's lovely you. to see you again. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. We should do this again, guys. Little Absolutely. mini missions. Yeah. Mini missions. You know what the next mission can be? Is What's to find that? My, find me a house. A house. A house, because I'm searching for a house here and I'd love to find a new house. Do you know what? I actually know <laughs> some real estate agents for you. Do you? I do. Like, I can I'll sort you out. But genuinely, this genuinely. Is, I really need it. <laughs> really. So if you're interested in that Santa Maria apartment and you want to buy it, there are quite a few left available and there's also a Santa Maria 2 which is just about to be built just off to the right so you still have those incredible views. But now 
I'm not a real estate expert. I know people who are. So jump, especially Sandy. Now Sandy works with Chris, who I interviewed some, some time back. Just check the video up there. There's a little card telling you what that video was all about. And you can check out Chris. Um, but Sandy works for him and she's amazing and she can jump on a call. So all you have to do is fill in your details in the landing page, which is www.ogovaddicts.com forward slash Sandy and then she'll get back to you. You just leave your phone number and a couple of little questions and then she'll get back to you. If you're not interested in Santa Maria and that kind of apartment, they have tons of other apartments and developments and all kinds of stuff. So they'll help you out. And if they don't, well, then just get back to me and, and I can sort you out with somebody else. So thanks so much for watching. Check all the links in the description and uh, we'll see you next week. That's the wrap. <laughs>